Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. For Trump, a solitary start to life in the White House. Washington, around 6.30 each evening, Secret Service agents gather in the dim hallways of the West Wing to escort Donald Trump home. For some presidents, the short walk between the Oval Office and the White House residence upstairs is a lifeline to family and a semblance of normal life. Others have used the grand residence for late-night entertaining and deal-making with lawmakers. For Trump, life in the White House residence is so far a largely solitary existence. With his wife and youngest son living in New York, and his grown children busy with their young families, Trump's first evenings have been spent largely alone tethered to the outside world only by his phone and his television. The dramatic change of scenery has left the 70-year-old president, a known creature of habit, a little adrift in the evenings, according to one person who spoke with him recently. Another regular contact described the president as still adjusting to this new digs and his somewhat more confined schedule. His advisors initially said they expected him to spend his evenings holding working dinners, like one scheduled Thursday with Republican mega-donor Sheldon Adelson. While Trump has marveled at the history and beauty of his new home, it's still government housing, said Christopher Ruddy, the CEO of Newsmax and a friend of the president's. A half-dozen other friends, advisors and associates of the president spoke about his first weeks in the White House on the condition of anonymity in order to detail private conversations. The interviews underscore the relatively large circle of people who have spoken with the new president, despite the busy schedule and enormous pressures of the job. Trump has been spending his nights making and taking calls to an expanding network of old friends, lawmakers and others. Calls often come into Trump's personal cell phone, which he fought staff and his security team to keep. Rather than hold lengthy conversations on the unsecured line, Trump often calls people back on other lines sometimes going through the White House switchboard. The president, who says he's sleeping four or five hours a night, is dialing up associates late at night and early in the morning, before he returns to the West Wing. He recently reached House Speaker Paul Ryan while the Wisconsin Republican was in the middle of an early morning workout. Ryan has become a more frequent point of contact for the president who has been touting his improved relationship with the speaker in conversations with advisors and associates. Their discussions are said to largely focus on policy, including health care and tax reform, the latter an issue where the speaker's office is trying to bring the White House closer to House Republicans' position. Trump has privately conceded some early missteps after a turbulent start to his term including the flawed rollout of his controversial refugee and immigration plan and a lack of clear lanes for his top advisors. But despite public opinion polls showing less than 50 percent of Americans approve of his presidency thus far, Trump has sounded confident about his standing. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.